trying to keep a girl child alive. Just because I have a job, just because I have some money, just because I have water to drink, does not mean I forget my country. My countrymen are dying. My countrymen are in pain. And all thanks to a simple word called corruption. And our politicians sign these waves and waves of bills which support the corrupt and penalize the innocent. Support the corrupt and penalize the innocent. Today I was watching Mr. Hazari on television and we have some clippings here as well. And a 74 year old man, 74 year old man in pain, hungry, fighting for our country, has not eaten for 10 long days. And of course, it's the greatness of Mr. Hazari. He says, Main to zinda rahunga aur no das din koi baat nahi. Main zinda. And to add fire to our fury, today, Mr. K. Chival announced that they had a deadlock with the government. New Jersey hears us today. Tomorrow, the UN is going to hear us. And I pledge that I and my fellow IAC workers will not stop till the corruption is taken out of the hearts and minds of our Indian politicians. And we are heard in Delhi. I'll give the opportunity to my fellow person just by ending with the last quote. In life, we meet many people. In life, we meet many people and make friends with few. But in those few, some touch our heart in such a way that their presence is felt and their absence too. Dear friends, Mr. Amnaza Hadare is one such person that you don't have to see him every day. I feel him when I get up in the morning. And I'm sure every one of you who is under the, the roof called India, that is what unites us all, irrespective of our culture, irrespective of our states, that is what unites us, also respects this old man fighting for our nation. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. We'll keep the fight going. Thank you. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, after Wamsi talks so much, let me start with a small situation. Suppose there is a leakage in your house and uh, you're getting all the bad water in your house which is making you and your family sick. What do you do in such a scenario? Right now, our scenario is the same. Many people say that, okay, I would uh, get motors and get all the water drained of, of, of my house. That is one solution. Others say, okay, I'll fix the leakage first. For those who are saying, I'll bring the motors and get the water out of this house, they are saying, we'll use technology to address this corruption. How many motors should I bring? And how much water should I drain out as long as it is continuously leaking? For how many years? So technology is not the only solution to kill corruption. Because there are a lot of instances, I can say, a lot of cases in which common man is denied justice. Do you think technology can do something there? Technology can address any of the cases there and do some justice? No, it's a big no from all of us. So that is not the only solution. It can be a part of the solution. So for those who are thinking to fix the leakage, yes, we have to fix the loopholes in the system. Because of these loopholes, we are suffering. I'm the same person in the United States and I'm the same person in India. But if I go to India, I keep on bribing for electricity, for gas connections, for my passport and for everything, what not. Did I ever bribe for my social security or driving license here? Never. Why? I'm the same here or there. What is the difference? I'm not in support of any developed nation here. But the loopholes in the system are causing the problem. Let's address the root cause of this problem by bringing a strong law, which is Jan Lokpal Bill. Let's support the cause. We are not asking the government to just do a miracle for us. Countries like Singapore and Hong Kong has already addressed this issue. They protest against the government when corruption had reached to such a level that it has become difficult for a common man to exist. So let's not in India. Let's fight against this corruption. Be united 
and show the government that we don't want this injustice anymore. Bring the Lokpal bill. Pull up your socks, contribute towards this movement because it is now or never. Thank you. Very well said, folks.